Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of IntelliTalks. For today, I have a close friend from uh, all the way from Bulgaria, actually, Christo Atanasov. Welcome, Christo. Pleasure to meet you. How are you? Uh, I'm very good. Happy to be here with you and also very curious about what you have to offer in front of our audience today because, yeah, I know that you've uh, created a very nice tool. But uh, yeah. before we go into that, let's tell everyone about a little, about, a little bit about yourself and, uh, yeah, the company you represent. Yeah, so hello, my name is Christo Tanasov. I'm a co-founder of AdFixer. And what can I say more? We, how it started, maybe, I can say that. Yeah. Everything started a long time ago. I was 16. I started selling on dropshipping, actually. I started with dropshipping, and then I started selling on Amazon. And for the beginning, I thought everything was bullshit. How can you say sell those things online? And the first day, I got uh, like 471 sales because I used um, Used the influencer who was close friend of mine from America, and he was say uh, like he had a meme uh, Instagram. How it's called? Mm -hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. With yeah. memes, Instagram yeah. account about uh, weed, and I thought was to myself like, okay, let's sell hats with the weed logo on them. They were like kind of funny. Yeah, and. From there, he just posed the hats and like, look at those hats, they're very cool. And I was like, I went to sleep. I thought nothing was gonna happen because like, I was very skeptical about this. And the next day when I woke up, you know what, it, all the night I was hearing sounds, ting, 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 ting. And I thought something because my account is usually all the time. I have something, someone messaging me all the time, and I was like so nervous at the night. But when the purchases pop up, I was looking at 471 purchases for the hat. Very nice. And I couldn't believe it. And then this was my first dropshipping website. And then I started selling it on Amazon. I started selling tribus. I don't know if you know what is that. It's basically, it's flour, which helps you boost your testosterone. Mm -hmm. And people so use it for a supplement, more or less. Yeah, yes. It's a supplement which helps you boost your testosterone. Like it helps for the fitness or for older men who want to yeah. have a good night. Yeah. Yeah. So and yeah. good niche, yeah. This product was doing very well on Amazon for us. Like for a year and a half, we done maybe over two million in revenue just from the year that started. And but the problem is the production was not from us, like from uh, other people. And he was a close friend from mine, but he bankrupt because he was trying to do to sell and create other things because the COVID came. And it didn't mm -hmm. work out, and we had to stop the product. We tried to search for another, like, uh, uh, manufacturer. Yeah. Yeah, another manufacturer to produce it. But uh, when they produce it, it's actually the the chemicals were not right for it. And it it was like six or seven months after that, and we just canceled and let we created an agency. To help other people sell and from that we had like in the beginning we have two or three people and after that they became 20 20 companies and we struggled a lot of a lot of time was going actually into the ppc and uh, a lot of things we didn't have time to look all from for the all, like people for the other companies today because we were five people and I was thinking about onboarding other people, but then the idea came. And I created that fixer, which will help, help me with the ads. The first thing was like to only create it for me. I used it like for a year now in the testing also, beta testing. And it's 
I think it's three months already that it's up for other people. And now we are giving it to other people to test it, to see if it's worked for them. This, uh, this is what we do. And the best thing is that uh, we are humans. Sometimes we make mistakes. This thing mm -hmm. doesn't make mistakes. That's the most good thing about it. Because when we had a lot of people, they were like, 20 clients and you do one, two, three, maybe five or six of them and you make mistakes or you miss something. And most of the time I got frustrated because maybe I put the keyword not in the right campaign and that blows all the budget and I had to put it in, uh, in negative or uh, I had to put it in another campaign to, just to boost my echoes. Uh, but the not echoes, uh, the organic sales because the keyword is important for my category and things went south and i said to myself like okay i'm cutting all of my clients like i work from an hour five of them and i work like as an agency but i don't onboard uh like clients anymore just helping them with that fixer mm -hmm. and i cut them to five and said i'm creating a product i cannot help you anymore yeah. If you want, you can become a better testers with me on this. They were like, okay, which was very good for me. Like they were yeah, they're very, yeah, very good people who were actually in this company. And they said to me, we are going to test it for you. If you like it, we are going to continue. If don't see you. So yeah, no it. hard feelings. Yeah. No hard feelings. Yeah. So for like, everyone here, what exactly is AdFixer? How would you define it? Okay, so AdFixes is a tool for creating sponsored products on Amazon and optimizes them daily, creates a fun ad funnel with four different campaigns named Discovery, Research, Performance, and Replicate. I can actually show you how it's done and later mm -hmm. on, Marcel, if you have questions yep. because we are not live, you can ask me. So, can you see? All right, let's dive into a little bit of uh, the tool itself and what it can do. Maybe, yeah, Christo, you can present here like uh, some examples of what uh, the tool can be used for in daily lives of Amazon sellers. Yeah, so of course, the first step here is creating a campaign. The tool doesn't automatically create your campaign. You have to select, for example, you can search here for the ASIN or the SKU, or you can just select a product you want to make a campaign, then you select the strategy. It depends. This is for more passive strategy. There are three different strategies. Everything is explained like in the small window. You can see and see if your product, if you want a more passive approach, like if you don't have high margins, I suggest you go in with passive and look uh, how low you can sell and it's uh, working for you, the exact keywords. Uh, we call it more conservative approach. Normal strategy is the perfect balance between passive and growth. Uh, the op it optimizes your PPC fully, uh, it creates a little bit of growth and also it's good for the ROIS, which is return of investment. Growth. We suggested for new clients, like for example, because you have the honeymoon, you know, and when you're launching a product, we suggest growth so you can maximize your sales in the beginning. It's more aggressive approach, higher bids, higher strategies, and it's basically for sales, and you don't care about the echoes. Well, yeah, you want to build uh, build sales and maybe gain some organic ranking in the process through the growth yes. strategy. But yeah, people should know that. Uh, yeah, that's usually sometimes. Does the algorithm during the growth, for example, strategy or even normal, learn from uh, from uh, the actual bids and can optimize, or it will just go straight forward based on the uh, strategy that you choose? So I'm thinking if we go for a launch and you go with uh, growth. This means aggressive launch, and uh, yeah, let's say uh, sometimes you or the, the algorithm will learn uh, how the, the people are behaving and the echoes, and will it try to optimize the echoes, or 
how will that uh, yeah. happen? Of course, I'm going to explain it in the next steps. No, I went ahead. How it, All right. <laughs> how it done. All right. So uh, for here, for this product, I'm going to choose normal strategy is the most used one. Here, you can create a name for your campaign. Let's uh, say it's test today. Two, three, four. Um, here, because when you create campaigns from us, there are four different campaigns. The first one is called Discovery, which is an auto campaign from Amazon. The next one is a manual campaign uh, based on broad searches, like for more reach. And the last two are performance and ranking. Um, so you have to, for example, you have to put like for the four campaigns, it's going to be distributed for the first, like in the beginning, are running only discovery and uh, research. So it's going to be distributed to them, the $40, uh, $40 budget. So uh, 20 for discovery and 20 for research. And after that, when, you when we find the right keywords or search terms, we put them as exact in performance with the uh, bit that was uh, previously from the other campaign. So uh, if it's connected, it's going to go like uh, uh, 20. When performance is launched, it's going to be like 25% uh, to discovery, 25% to research, and then 50% to performance. Mm -hmm. All right. So basically, okay. it will create four campaigns, and based on uh, yeah budget, it will allocate a certain budget to each yes. of the campaigns, and also optimize. Do this on the fly. So yeah, it will take the keywords from uh, let's say from discovery to performance if they are uh, the keywords yep. are behaving nicely. All right. So yeah. if you set a daily budget of forty, so that would be. Ten dollars, not not ten dollars. You said like twenty five percent will go to, uh, what was it? To research, then twenty five percent to discovery. So that's fifty yeah. percent, and fifty percent will go to performance. So yeah, yeah, All right. And after that, most of the budgets are gonna be to performance and ranking because there's there are four campaigns. Mm -hmm. Here, you type your A equals like when we suggest. Uh, if you have like, for example, it depends on the product because for some people, 5% is a lot because their, their product is like 200 or $400. For others, like it's 30%, uh, it's not enough. So for this product, you have to know your margins. And when you know your margins, I suggest you to put uh, the maximum for this product is 30%. And here we have, um, advanced option which is high impact equals campaign this is basically creating a fifth campaign for you which is not active in the beginning but for example if you're selling water your main keyword is going to be water or a bottle of water mm -hmm. those we call those uh, words coin flip because one day you're selling the other day you're not because a lot of people are competing competing on it Okay. And but this is crucial for your like uh, category, uh, for your organic sales, and we suggest creating another campaign for it, uh, which it might not drag you a lot of. It's gonna be with higher echoes, but it's gonna uh, give you organic sales. Mm -hmm. All right. Later so this on. campaign will uh, will follow a high echoes, but try to sell as much as possible. Yes, uh, and uh, rank you. That's the main thing. Mm -hmm. yeah. Also, this, this campaign is mainly for organic ranking. This is what you're saying, right? Okay. Yes, yes. So, yeah, I just want to say one more thing. This is, uh, I see that uh, it's on the German marketplace. So, in our demo here, where we have chosen the demo on uh, the German marketplace, yeah. um, the tool can, can work on uh, all marketplaces or it has yeah. some limitations? All marketplaces. All marketplaces. And I'm also, gonna... yeah. Yes, we're in euros. All right. You can see here Amazon settings. Like I can select more marketplaces. I have created uh, already login with uh, Europe. You can mm -hmm. go on Far East or North America. Like also, you have to America. connect 
connect your Amazon uh, account to the tool. And from yes. there, you just select on which marketplace you're interacting. All right, perfect. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So now I can tell you about how the bits are fined because you asked. Like the um, algorithm is learning the process. Like if you sell, for example, on let's say you sell on, we started with water, you sell on bottle of, a bottle of water, you sell on this, and it depends on the strategy. If, you're, if it's passive, it starts with low bits and goes up, 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 up until it goes to the golden bit, which we call it the golden bit. And after that, it moves uh, the keyword from, for example, you we found this keyword in the research, it's done some sales, it goes to performance, and that goes to the performance. We know that you're working with this uh, particularly golden bit. We put the exact same bit or maybe a little bit higher because we already know you're selling on this. Mm -hmm. And then uh, when it proves in the ranking, uh, on, in performance, it goes to ranking. And if, if it keyword goes to ranking, trust me, you're not gonna have the problem anymore with that keyword because the algorithm has a lot of rules and if something goes to ranking, trust me, you're very good selling there. It's not going to work. Right. And the ACOS mm -hmm. is going to be just right. Like, for example, we put 30% on this product. It's going to be below that, but only for the search term. Like, for example, uh, in, uh, in broad phrases, when you have in research, the keyword may be the exam, but this is a, a search term. You know, broad, you can put bef uh, before, uh, in between, and after. Yeah. It, it may be, be the same thing, but in a water bottle, but it uh, looks like it can be bottle of water, one liter, or something like that. You're selling. So, this is the system, and we put it as exact in performance and ranking, and you know where you're selling. So, yeah, basically, performance and ranking are only exact campaigns, am I understanding correctly? Yes. All yes, right. While, exactly. yeah, while uh, discovery and research are uh, yeah broad phrase and or exact, so they're starting yeah. from uh, probably from a list of keywords that you are inputting. But we'll we'll look into it. All right. Yeah. Perfect. And also in discoveries uh, like uh, loose match, close match, and no type of so stuff. Like uh, you can even sell on your competitors because there's uh, assets there. And you also put them like in then in research and discovery and uh, performance and ranking. Mm -hmm. So that's basically the tool here. You can see the optimization optimization log, what we what he has done for you. Like for example, you see the ad group or the product, uh, the strategies, and what we have done for you. Like change bit from this to this, remove keyword. Mm -hmm or something like that. You can see it all from mm -hmm. here. You can see all of, your, all, of your, all of your funnels. Like, for example, this, what it made, impressions, orders. And you can to see what how it's performing. In the dashboard, we have an overview um, of it. This is a test account uh, for here. You have the automation, what it had, the last automation, what it's done. Um, general revenue from the advertising, advertising spend, orders, and ACOS. Mm -hmm. And here in efficiency, you can see what we have done for you. Like, for example, the algorithm has analyzed uh, that many uh, things in your campaigns. This, how many bits were changed, how many keywords were added, or how many keywords were removed. Mm -hmm. and all right. So basically, the algorithm will do also auto discovery. So it will discover keywords based on your product. Um, you will be inputting the initial list of keywords to start from. Yeah. It's and automatically, no, you don't uh, like the algorithm creates everything for you. You just need to press three buttons like select your product. Select strategy, uh, put your name on the last step, uh, which 
you want the name of the campaign. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and you know the campaign and optim it optimizes it daily. Like it doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. All right. So uh, in terms of the actual keywords, because uh, yeah, I believe so. This is like a completely hands-free tool that uh, will definitely take care of your PPC. And I see it mostly addressing to people who do not want to to get too much into PPC. But uh, also, it's making things very easy for them to to just take decision based on yep. the actual algorithm of the program. All right, uh, it's but pretty the, straightforward. Um, yep. What else? Also, also, what is, yeah. We also do like once a week with all of our clients. We have a meeting, and we look not only their PPC, but like help them with the product to see if they can add a little bit more keywords in the bullets or the name, or let's run that back and see how the ads are performing and help them a little bit if this is good or not for them to see if we can advance the product more. And like he was on, for example, one of our clients was only doing passive strategies but uh, here, uh, his products were slaying like uh, bread. I don't know how can you sell it. Uh, he, the, every day he had just from the advertising, he had a lot of uh, like 100 sales a day from the advertising and passive approach. And I was like, to him, okay, let's do no more, at least growth. And he was like, yeah. no, 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 I don't, I don't want to. Uh, one week <laughs> later, he, I saw him, he creates a growth strategy and boom he had 500 a day and he, on the next meeting he was with me he was like maybe you are right about this <laughs> <laughs> brilliant all right so basically uh, chris christo you also you and your team are diving into calls so you're getting into uh, helping uh, the the people to also uh, navigate mm -hmm. and uh, let's say optimize their listing for relevancy in terms of uh, uh, the actual products that they are enlisting here in the ad fixer. So this is very cool and I find it yeah, very straightforward. Um, all right, perfect. Um, what what else do you do you have for us in terms of information? Let's see. Anything uh, else you, you've missed? That's basically or? it. Like this very was a straightforward. It's a very straightforward, simple. You can check everything what we have created for you. Also next week. For example, you have here non-fixer, uh, non-ad fixer campaigns. <clears throat> here you, you will have to, uh, you can create like manage the budget of them, and also you will add a new feature, new create campaign, not only a funnel, mm -hmm. but it's gonna be uh, like we will create one campaign, which is like performance, and it will not have the steps like. Uh, research discovery and uh, ranking only performance is gonna be uh, from your past data like the AI our AI is gonna uh, get all fetch all your data all, all of your data and we'll see on which keywords you are selling well what are the bits and it's gonna create a performance campaign for you it's gonna be single campaigns with the exact keywords with the uh, exact bit, it's gonna play a little bit, it's gonna optimize them uh, daily, like it's gonna play with the bits, if you, you can get more sales and optimize echoes, but it's gonna be a single campaign. I think it's gonna be launched on the May 16. All right, yeah, this okay. video will go live uh, probably after that date, but uh, nevertheless, people will be, will be able to see it in, uh, in the yeah. dashboard. And they can yeah. test it. So if you don't want to create a funnel, like for example, you know you're already selling, you have a lot of keywords, just uh, you have to create a single campaign and the algorithm will find already your keywords and you don't have to put them manually. Like, you know, you're, for example, if you know you're selling on one liter bottle of water, it's gonna pull it and it's gonna catch it. Mm -hmm. All right, very nice, super. Christo, yeah, I find it very, very intriguing. We will definitely give it a try and see how, how it goes. And um, yeah, for everyone here, what else do you have installed? Anything else or yeah? I don't think so. That's 
How it's created? Like it uh, took us a lot of time because we created like we started two and a half years ago with it, and it launched before two months, three, and there we go. so much work on it because you have to optimize it uh, daily to see if the algorithm is working right, and after that we created a behavior-based AI inside to look over the stuff and I think it's going pretty well. There we now. go. I have put here also the link to, to the website. And I believe, Christo, you also have something for everyone that's watching here for the Interrank audience. It's, uh, yeah. yeah. So if you, you hop up on the, leading, uh, on the link, it's going to give you a 10% discount. For, and it's lifetime. recurring it's for a lifetime. And give it a try, it, definitely. Give it a try, yeah. And the, also, the first thing, the first 14 days are free, so it's free of charge. You can test it, like it. Definitely give it a try and see how it's working yeah. for your product. Never know. So this is an easy way out, considering the era of artificial intelligence. Uh, what Christo and the team has uh, created here is a very nice tool to help into PPC with uh, nice automations, and I like very much the funnel approach. So everything is hands-free. Uh, the guys have really done a great job to uh, make it uh, available to everyone and as easy as possible. For example, I'm not a PPC guy. I know about PPC, I know some things, but I don't want to spend my entire time uh, doing uh, PPC optimizations and watching that bit. So yeah, this might be the best way forward. Sign up at least 14 days free and give it a try afterwards. All right. Christo, thank you. Thank you for this. Yeah, a pleasure. And uh, for everyone here, yeah, I'll see you soon. Bye. Bye.